up, Nate? What you playing today? I'm playing Maya today. I'm gonna play lots of lands and make lots of tokens. What are you doing? Today I'm playing Frodo, Sauron's Bane. I'm here to give him some weapons. Hopefully I can swing in for the kill. All right, but let's play a real game today. You know what? We could do that. I'll even let you go first. So I'm gonna play a snow-covered forest, tap that, play an amulet of vigor, pass to you. Don't be too scared. I'm gonna start out with a draw. I'll play a swamp, and then I'll pass back to you, big dog. I'm gonna draw. And then I will play a tapped tranquil thicket, which will untap because of the amulet of vigor, and pass to you. Sweet, I'll go ahead and I'll draw. I'll play a rogue's passage, tap two, play a black blade reforged. So I'm gonna start off with a draw, play a plains, tap three, and cast a catcher's monument. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play Shattered Sanctum. Comes in untapped. I'm gonna tap Shattered Sanctum to play my commander. Pass turn to you. I'll untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to tap the Tranquil Thicket, cast Crop Rotation, sacrificing the Tranquil Thicket, to search my deck for a land. We'll find Selesnia Sanctuary, which will enter tapped and then untap because of Amulet of Vigor. I'll tap it for a green and a white, and then it will its trigger to return a land to its hand will go off, and I will return it to my hand. Why would you do that? It doesn't even help you. So next, I'll tap a plains, add a white to pool, and play Dryad of the Elysian Grove. That'll let me play an additional land on each of my turns. So I'll play the Selesnia Sanctuary again. It'll come in tapped, untap, tap it for a green and a white, return it to my hand. Tap the snow-covered forest for another green and play Azusa, Lost But Seeking. Oh, that's why. That allows me to play two additional lands per turn, which brings me up to three more lands per turn. So I will play the Selesnia Sanctuary. It'll come in tapped. I'll untap it, tap it for a green and white, return it to my hand. I'll play it again, tap it, untap it, return it to my hand. Play it again, tap it, untap it, return it to hand. Now, that'll give me six mana. I'll use that six mana, and I'll cast Rampaging Balos. And I've cast three creature spells this turn. So a catcher's monument has triggered three times, making three 1-1 one, one creatures with vigilance. Bro. What? This is supposed to be a real game. Nobody's gonna believe this actually happened. I don't know what to tell you. You watch me shuffle, and you cut my deck. It just seems like bullshit to me. But untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play a land. Tap four. I'm gonna play the one ring. Hopefully that saves me for at least a turn. One turn, yes. So I'll untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna play the Selesnia Sanctuary, untap it, return it. Do I really need to keep- Nah, man, just show us the Sanctuary. I think we get it. All right, I'm gonna get that two mana, make my Raging Bailoff's token, tap my two lands, use that two mana and the two I just added, and play my Commander. That will trigger the Oketra's Monument and make me a 1-1 one, one with Vigilance. What turn is it? Turn five. So I'll Sanctuary, Sanctuary, two white, two green into pool. That will make two tokens with my commander and two tokens from the Bailoff. And then I will use two of that green to play the Great Hinge for two mana. Uh, the other two white for Intangible Virtue. We'll play the Sanctuary one last time. Return it to hand. Tap the Hinge and play Retreat to Amiria. So you have no cards in hand now? I've always got the Sanctuary. I'm gonna tap the one ring on your turn, put a burden counter on it, draw a card. Okay. I'll go to my turn, untap, upkeep, draw. Tap the one ring, put a burden counter on it, draw two more cards. Play a land, tap two mana, play a Fell War Stone, tap three mana, play a Sword of Hearth and Home. Untap, upkeep, draw. Now I'm gonna keep it simple here. I'm just gonna play the Selesnia Sanctuary four times. That's gonna trigger my commander, the Bailoffs, and the Retreat to Emeria. On the Retreat to Emeria, I'm gonna choose to give all my creatures plus one, plus one, four times. Now I'll move to combat, and I'm gonna attack you with three ten tens and six six sixes. Any response? I actually don't have time to finish this. I'm gonna scoop up. We'll call it a tie. If you like this style of gameplay, remember to leave a like on the video so I know to make more. And if you want to know how we build our decks, just click this video right here, y'all.